Hey people, it's Danny here with another investing uh, video. Uh, it's going to be a short one. Uh, I don't have too much time to record it, but it's just kind of a brief um, where I'm going. So decided to, with my um, high yield portfolio, my goal is to extend it out um, to around um, $50,000 of, of net liquidity. Um, so obviously it'll be more with the margin, um, running margin usually of um, around uh, 1.5, currently at 1.71. It's a little higher on the margin at this moment. Uh, so goal is to keep expanding, uh, basically double the portfolio by um, end of next year. So over the next um, um, 13 months, uh, I guess it's more like 14, 13.5 months. Uh, basically to double it um, uh, and also I've been running pretty close to 40 percent uh, return so the goal is obviously um, not obviously but my goal is to see if I can continue to as I double that maintain um, close to the 40 percent return uh, one of the problems you know with this return is, is a lot of it is um, <clears throat> essentially me putting money in as I putting money in uh, I'm putting in a, a high yield, throwing an option on, so I'm capturing quite a lot of the return early on. Um, so as I start running out of, um, you know, not running out, but well, as I, as I begin to have less uh, free capital to throw in, it's going to be a drag on return. The return is going to become closer to the yield, which is like 13% here. Um, PSAC is down to like 10% off my cost, like 10.5% off my cost. Um, so obviously... Um, Good news is that um, this right here is my big position of PSEC. Um, another account has maybe 100 shares, and another account has five. So I, I, um, I guess to say I was sort of wrong on, on PSEC, um, although I would say much of their problem has become related to their financing, but on the other hand, that they do need financing. Um, they're, they're taking some write-offs now. Um, but uh, I guess it's kind of a flesh wound, especially because um, I got some pretty good options in there. Um, we can see uh, 54, 21, 19. So I've got uh, 40, $90 worth of options. My loss, um, I guess the loss is kind of bloody, um, but... Um, Almost um, eight hundred seventy, but I mean it's uh it's also again even still this is is okay um especially because I, I feel like when they when they take that sort of move down it's gonna be stable for a really long time at that level and I'm still at like ten point five percent yield um the the margin on here um uh, the interest is like seven point seven five so that's still three percent um obviously it's painful that you paid. I paid that much for it, um, and, and whatnot, uh, but that's going well, um, PSCC, or NYL is the big, the big dog here, um, uh, it's, you know, $40,000 worth of it, uh, it's 13%, um, the Fed cutting, um, should hopefully help, um, pad the, the dividend cushion and maybe evenly to a dividend increase, um, Obviously, I'm I'm optioned in a lot of these. I was I buying recently. I um are in, I'm in at um 20 strikes. I, I bought it below that. Um, uh, but the the big ones um are at 21 strikes. So if we if we run through um 21, you know um then this will completely liquidate the portfolio. But I mean it would be it would be a pretty pretty massive um event for me if it liquidated. I also have um in, in another account I have. Um, an ungodly amount, like seventy thousand dollars, maybe, probably seventy thousand. I'm not sure if that's right. It's a lot. It's a lot. It is enough shares to produce two thousand income on any dividend. Um, off the top of my head, and I got another account with some of it. So I'm, I'm unfortunately, I'm kind of like my, I'm like a big ball of NYL at this point. <laughs> I'm probably like fifty percent NYL in my. Um, my taxable accounts, uh, um, so, 
you know, whew, it, that one's got to come through for me. Not come through. It'll be okay. It'll be okay if it doesn't. But it'll be, it'll be a little bit of pain if uh, if it doesn't if it does stand strong. Um, big ball of NYL at this point, basically. And I, I want to um, diversify um, and whatnot, but you know, I'm uh, just kind of been um, playing a little more risky as I as I move through to my some of my goals. Um, but I feel strong overall. Um, good that I avoided the. I, you know, I started to get cold feet on, on PSAC, so, I mean, luckily, I was, I'm so much out of it that this is the big dog of it, um, you know, I really only have, um, like, 100, 110 shares maybe outside of here, um, but it's still a little painful that I got caught on that, um, but even still, um, you know, I still believe that that is, um, okay, just holding it, it'll, I think it'll continue with that, that, thing which is about 10.5 percent of my cost maybe i can even throw in a few options to juice it just a little bit um and it's still i think it'll be mm, additive ish to my portfolio long term um so you know obviously obviously i'm gonna keep pumping in um for a while um and see where where we end up if we can hold that 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 range of around 40 percent um you know, and then obviously, you know, at some point we got to stop pumping in. But then, you know, I mean, and then it'll kind of fall, you know, we're, we're talking, you know, yields here mostly 13%, some some 10%, but, you know, 13 to 10% yield. And then obviously it'll just kind of slowly just work its way down. Um, and plus throwing some options in, you know, obviously it can, it can juice it a little bit, um, you know, you know, to maybe 17, 18% yield. Um you know, but that's a good thing. You know, obviously, if you're if you're running um, even 78 or some yield, um, um, and you know, once you're not adding, and it kind of goes from that, you're no longer able. Obviously, when I'm no longer adding, there's just going to be no way to maintain a, a terminal of 40 percent. But if I can maintain that for 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 even the next year, um, anything even close to that, and then just be okay, I would just be completely okay with just like letting it kind of sneak down. Um, Although, though maybe depending on things, maybe I could keep punching it. Um, it just, it's just a lot, you know. The more margin I get in, the more it is to unwind, you know. When I want it to begin to start pumping out, you know. Um, I'm not sure how much I want to keep. Just, but definitely, you know, my my thought is I'm going to keep at it for another year, see if I can pump it that way. All right, so that's that, and. Um, I don't want to keep it too long. I'm gonna watch Zim, see if it if there's any downward move. Maybe maybe can pump some Zim into this formation. Um, I, I want to be kind of cautious um, there, but if I see a downward move, um, maybe depending on the situation here, maybe it can pump some of that in. All right, till next time, uh, peeps. Take care.